Hello everybody and welcome to a Blender Game Engine tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a uh, gun that shoots and actually hits an enemy and wounds your enemy uh, so that uh, it's accurate. What I've seen a lot of people do is actually add a bullet at the end of their gun and that flies across the screen uh, and when it collides with an enemy it'll actually wound the enemy uh, but in my opinion this is a sloppy way to do it and is obsolete compared to rays. So I'm going to be teaching you how to use rays to do uh, an effect like this. And if you don't know anything about Python, that's alright because I'm not actually going to be using any Python in this tutorial. Uh, it is completely based off of uh, off of logic. So let's get started. So to start off in our scene, we're going to need a couple of things. I have a basic FPS setup right here. Uh, and the only thing we have on this one is the gun shoots up and down. Uh, the rest of it is not working. Uh, and we're going to need something in the center of our camera. Uh, I call it a target. You can call it whatever you want. And the only thing you have to make sure of is that it's an actor, which will allow rays to actually interact with it. Uh, and you can scale this up and down depending on how large or how small you want the target and the uh, target of the gun to be, like how wide the spread is. And so uh, the larger it is, of course, uh, the more chance there is of a hit. And the smaller it is, the less chance there is of a hit. So we're also going to need an enemy, and parent to this enemy we're going to need a tracer or a target uh, tracker thingy. Uh, I use a cone because it's easy to visualize. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to select our enemy here and I'm going to add three, um, three sensors. I'm going to add a always, a ray, and a message. And the message is going to be fire. Ray is going to be on the property target with a range of 300. Now this range is how large or how large the area your gun can shoot, so how far it can shoot. And then this always sensor can just collapse. I'm going to add two controllers and connect the always to that one and the other two to this bottom one. And I'm going to add two edit object controller or actuators, and it's going to be a track to player and a end object. Then I'm going to shift select this target, or this cone, sorry, and uh, click edit object, track to camera in 3D space, and attach it to the always. So now, no matter where we are, the enemy will try and track us, and the cone will also track to the camera. Now the cone is actually tracking to this point in the camera right here, which means eventually that ray will strike right through this target, and when it does, and it receives the mouse click, it's going to uh, hurt the enemy. And so we're going to need a property on this called target. And we need to make it so that when we shoot, there's a message that sends out. So we can go shoot by doing a left mouse tap. And we're going to go ahead and add a uh, message so that when you shoot, it's going to send the message fire. Just like that. And you can see, if I'm shooting over here, it's not quite going to work. But if I get closer and closer, eventually it will hit him. And like I said, you can scale this up massively so that uh, no matter where you are, it's going to hit them. For example, if you're using a shotgun or something like that, uh, or you can scale it out very small uh, for complete precision. Uh, so it has to be dead on, uh, but that's completely up to you. Uh, if you like this tutorial, please let me know. Um, I know it's not as good as uh, using Array with Python, but it is something for you guys out there who just don't quite want to get into Python just yet. Uh, and perhaps some of you will like it. Um, yeah, I'm sure this has been done before, but I couldn't find a tutorial, so I thought I'd throw one on the uh, Blender Artist forum for you guys. So, anyway, enjoy.